welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we're about to head to the Walmart this morning, walk through the store, check out yes, some I'm deals. Yes, about to drop Axel off at school. Loving so, it. Loving it, yes. I'm gonna be working on two Ibotta bonuses this morning. I'm gonna be working on the new pumpkin bonus, which mine is 15 offers for $5. Super excited about that one. And also the midweek bonus. So let me know in the comments below what you got. Mine is 18 offers for $5. So I'm working on both of those. Completed a few offers over on a Walgreens candy deal. So that was pretty awesome. But we're gonna go ahead. We are gonna check out some deals at Walmart. As always, I will have a printable list below the video so you can print that out take it to the store with you it's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy and if you are completely new to my channel welcome thank you so much for being here and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones oh did you want to show him something <laughs> he yeah. almost let it show <laughs> Yeah. Show them real quick oh, before you go into school. So, I got a brand new watch. It's a real watch. The last one wasn't looking. It was the one at the house wasn't Yeah, he had a little fake plastic one, but this is a real watch. Got it at CVS. Used some extra bucks the other day. And yeah. He's so excited. Yeah, and you can see the whole time. It's not mm. working. It's not yeah. working. It is we working. I have to set it. It's an hour ahead. <laughs> so, I was like, I'll fix it tonight, and then it'll be ready to oh, go. Oh, but Daddy's got to rip. Yeah, let Daddy do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I just Actually, I, I found out something, which is, like, weird. What is it? So, the teachers have no houses just like us. Yeah, he found out that teachers have houses just like us. They don't sleep here at the school. <laughs> they go home, they have a family, all that, right? Just like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, but you can tell how a car got here first if it was weak. I yeah, guess. yeah, but we were, we're not still, first in line today. But yeah. we're still, we're close. Still yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> and we are not car behind us, which yeah. Oh, uh, that one shows you. Oh my goodness! Yep, you're gonna be going in in like three minutes. All right, guys, Axel's putting on his backpack. He's about to go into ah. school, so let's head into Walmart and check out these deals. <laughs> Alright guys, so our very first deal is on these vitamins right here. So these are the Smarty Pants vitamins. We want to grab one of the women's or men's vitamins and then we want to grab either the teen or the kids vitamins because we have two different coupons for these. So they're $12.98 each. I went ahead and put two in my cart. I got the women's and the teen girl. These are going to total $25.96 in the 8-8 Smart Source. We have these $3 coupons. So we have a coupon for each one of these. So after our two coupons, we are going to be left to pay $19.96 in the store, but we are going to get back $4 each for these on Ibotta. Those are two separate rebates, plus $15 back on Swagbucks. So $1,500 Swagbucks equals $15. So after getting all of that back from both of the apps, our final cost will be completely free in a 304 moneymaker for these two 90 count vitamins. So that is just an awesome deal. Next up, I wanted to show you guys this just in case it's a product you use. This is the Cory Krill Oil. It's $19.97, so pretty pricey, but we do have Shopkick and Ibotta offers. On Shopkick, you would get back $3.60, and on Ibotta, you get back $6, so it would make it $10.37. Next up, we are going to grab the One by Poise liners. These are $5.46. We do have a $3 coupon for this, and this is from the 829 Smart Source. Using this coupon, we're going to pay $2.56 here in the store, but get $3 back on Ibotta and 175 kicks on Shopkick, which is $0.70. Cents. That's going to make these free and a $1.14 moneymaker. So that is just a really, really awesome deal. 
Next up, we are going to pick up the Durex Air. These are $7.48. We have two different rebates. We have a $3 rebate and we have 800 kicks on Shopkick. This box is so shiny. <laughs> it looks like a rainbow. Um, so 800 kicks is $3.20 back on Shopkick. So your final cost between Ibotta and Shopkick is going to be just $1.28 for these. So not too bad. And I'm going to go ahead and grab it to get an Ibotta rebate. Next up, guys, check out this clearance that I found. I have been scanning, seeing if there's any Ibotta rebates. This one's not an Ibotta rebate, but it does scan in for Shopkick on the St. Ives lotion rebate. So check that out. $2 back on Swagbucks is going to make this free for me, but I'm going to check and see if I have a coupon. I know we have St. Ives coupons. I can't remember if they're good for lotion or not. So I'm going to check and I'll let you know. All right, guys, so update the dollar coupon right here. It does include body lotion. So a dollar off is going to make this 18 cents. I'm going to get 500 kicks on Shopkick. That's $2 back. So this is going to be a dollar 82 moneymaker. So check your store and see if you can find this clearance item. That is just a super, super awesome deal. Next up, we've got a couple of little easy deals on candy. If you're just looking for some rebates, we've got the Three Musketeers. These are 88 cents. We have a 25 cent I bought a rebate. I scanned it and it does qualify. That's going to make it just 63 cents for one of these, so not too bad. Now, we also have this little M&M Classic Mix. These are $1.48. A 25 cent I bought a rebate is going to make these $1.23 if you want to pick these up. Also, a super easy deal is on these veggie straws. So these are $1.48. You'll find these up at the front of the store by the candy bars. We have 400 kicks back on Shopkick. So it'll make these completely free and a little bit of a money maker. So not too bad of a deal. My kids love the veggie straws. So I'm definitely picking these up. So I still have my checkout $51 back when I buy tortilla chips. These are the kind I use for my chicken nachos and they're $1.74. So a dollar back is going to make these just 74 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them. All right, guys, next up we have the Sabra Kids. I hope I'm saying that right. They say $3.38, but these are actually $2.98. We have a dollar back on Ibotta, so it'll make it $1.98. I'm considering getting this taco dip one for the kids. I'm not sure if the taco dip is good or not. I don't know. Let me know if you've tried it. But they also have the chocolate one up there that has, like, graham crackers, so I may get that one. I don't know. All right, so update. I picked the brownie batter dip because I feel like the kids will like that one more. All right, next up, we have this awesome deal on the Greek Gods yogurt. So these are $4.48. I was going to get a strawberry one too, but that one is almost expired. So these two right here are going to total us $8.96. We are going to submit over to Swagbucks for 500 Swagbucks, which is $5 back. On Ibotta, we have a dollar back on each of these. And on Checkout 51, we have a dollar 65 back on each one. So your final cost for these two huge tubs of yogurt is going to be completely free and a dollar 34 money maker so i grabbed this deal last week but i'm going to grab it again it's the sparkle paper towels they're 397 we have a dollar rebate on ibotta and a dollar back on checkout 51 so it makes this just a dollar 97 which i feel like is not bad for some paper products so i'm going to go ahead and grab these so next up, we have the finished products over here. I'm going to show you a few different ways you can do this. So the finished rinse aid is $3.97. We have this dollar coupon from the 829 Smart Source. You would pay $2.97 but get $0.50 cents on Ibotta, making it $2.47. Now we also have a different deal you can do over here. This finished three count tabs. These are $4.52. Now we do have a dollar coupon as well for that one. Now with that, you would pay $3.52, get $0.50 cents on Ibotta, making it $3.02. Or the cheapest option, I just saw these back here, so I'm so glad my store has them. They're $3.77. Now, with the dollar coupon, you would pay $2.77, but get $0.50 cents on Ibotta, so it's going to make it $2.27. So I think I'm going to buy this for my future dishwasher <laughs> one of these days. 
so next up we have this awesome deal this is on the manitoba harvest hemp hearts so these right here they are ten dollars and 87 cents we have two i bought a rebates attaching to this a four dollar and a five dollar but one of those is expiring soon so you want to grab this deal soon if you want to get it it's going to make this just a dollar 87 you can try this in yogurt smoothies salad all of that so that is a huge savings on these so i am definitely getting it next up we've got these rayos soup so these are 358 never tried these so let me know if you have tried it i normally eat this kind of soup over at olive garden it's really good but i don't know if it'll be the same they've got the italian wedding kind they've got all these different flavors we've got a dollar rebate on ibotta so it'll make one of these just 258 so that's not too bad if you want to try this out plus a couple of our money maker deals will cover a little bit of that cost all right, guys, so the next thing I'm grabbing are these chomp sticks up here. So it's not like a huge, you know, big deal or anything, but they're $1.98. We have a 25 cent rebate. It'll make it $1.73, but it's grass fed and finished beef sticks. So I don't know, maybe my husband will like it. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to go ahead and grab one. Next up over here by peanut butter and jelly, we've got this Maranatha almond butter. This is 98 cents, but on Shopcake, you can get back a dollar 20. That'll make it free and a 22 cent moneymaker. Now remember, if you want to get these scan cakes, you want to scan the larger one in the store, but you can purchase this small one and still get your buy cakes. All right, so the next thing I'm grabbing is some lunch meat, just because I can always use this for the kids' lunches. They're 72 cents here at my store. So five of these is $3.60. We have a $1 I bought a rebate for buying five. So it'll make it $2.60 for these. Sorry it's so loud over here. It sounds like their little cooler machine is ready to die or something. I don't know, it's so loud. But anyways, we're gonna get lunch meat and I'm also gonna grab some bread. All right, you guys, so this is the bread that I'm picking up. My husband and my daughter love it. It's only $1, and it's the garlic and herb bread that you can get over in the bakery section. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this because we got the lunch meat, we got the bread, got the chips. So that is going to be really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and head to self-checkout. We'll go over the receipt once I get back to the house, and we'll talk final cost. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to scan my items. I put all my items that have coupons at the very back because I do those last. So I'm going to go ahead and start scanning everything. All right, so I went ahead and scanned all my items. I'm gonna start scanning the coupons. I will let you guys know if there's any coupon beeps or anything that you need to look out for here at the store, but hopefully they'll go smooth. That is the goal. So we're almost done. Only have a few coupons today, not much. So we're gonna go ahead and scan these in and they all scanned just fine. All right, guys, so you can see each coupon under each item. I'll just show you really quickly. Even the coupon for that clearance item for St. Ives came off just fine. And this is my total with tax. So we're gonna go ahead and pay. All right, guys, so we are back in the car from Walmart and oh my goodness, the transaction went perfectly. No coupon beeps at all, so no issues. It all went smooth. Plus, I scanned in my receipt to Swagbucks before I even left the self-checkout. I literally, as soon as my receipt came out, I laid it out right there and I took the picture of it and Swagbucks automatically gave me credit for my offers. So $15 for the vitamins and $5 for the, what else was it? Can't remember. <laughs> But the other item that we got for Swagbucks, so no issues at all. Oh, it was the yogurt. That's what it was. So, so happy about that. Um, went ahead and submitted my receipts to the other rebate app. So we're going to head home. We're going to look over the receipt and we are going to talk about how much we got back from each app and what our final cost is for all of our items today. So I feel really good about it. I feel like we had so many good offers today and I'm super excited because on Ibotta, you know how I was talking about when you do the pumpkin bonus or maybe I said it on Instagram but when you do the pumpkin bonus once you complete that it's going to unlock the spice bonus now I had a few offers more than what I needed I think I needed about 10 more offers today to complete my pumpkin bonus and my midweek bonus but anything over that any offers over that amount that I needed for those bonuses went towards my spice bonus already because when I just now looked at it, it's showing the spice bonus. It is $5 also for 15 offers. So the same that my pumpkin one was. 
and it already put seven offers towards that bonus after the receipt that I just scanned in. So I'm so excited. I'll pop up all that on the screen for you guys once we get to the house and we're looking over the receipt. But let's head home. Let's see how much all of this cost us today. All right, guys, we are back home, and this is my Walmart. I bought a haul for this week. So I bought a Shopkick, Swagbucks, Checkout 51, Fetch Rewards, all those money-saving apps. I will have links to all of those below the video in the description box. So you can grab those, and you can also grab your free printable list that I have linked below as well. We're going to go ahead, and we are going to go over the final cost for everything that you see right here. All of this would have cost us about $91.33 before any coupons and before any rebates. So that is just crazy. Of course, we didn't actually pay that much and we surely didn't pay that much after our rebates. So let's go ahead and look over this receipt. So I did everything on one receipt, didn't split anything up, anything like that. So you can see all the items here. Then... Down here, I always scan my items that have coupons. I scan those last just in case there's a coupon problem. They can quickly get to that item on the screen versus them, you know, scrolling through everything. So down here, you can see the coupons. Everything came off just fine. Didn't have any issues at all. So that was awesome. Um, even on that um, clearance lotion, the dollar eighteen and the dollar coupon came off and then got a couple dollars back from Shopkick. So that was a really awesome deal. So we ended up paying $77.33 out of pocket. I did go ahead and pay with my PayPal debit card. The reason I use my PayPal debit card is because I just transfer my rebate money from the apps onto that card and then I use that card in the store. There's no fees or anything like that. So I'm just rolling rebate money. So basically I spent rebate money to buy this and then I'm gonna get rebate money right back to cover the purchase. So with that being said, we went ahead, we scanned over to Swagbox first. On Swagbucks, it did not give me any issue. So happy the last couple of times I have not had to submit for a review or anything. So maybe they've worked out some kinks with their app. Maybe they have fixed some things because I'm sure they got tired of people complaining and all of that as well. So let me know if it's been going better for you too. But I'm so excited because it didn't give me any hassle. So we got back $15 for purchasing these two Smarty Pants Vitamins. Then we also got back $5 for the two yogurts, the Greek gods. So let me know if you've tried that too, because I've never tried that. <laughs> Anyways, so we got back a total of $20 from Swagbucks just with those two offers alone. So that was really awesome. Now over on Ibotta, I went ahead and scanned my receipt into them. With just the offers themselves without bonuses, I got back a total of $33 for all of these items that we picked up. So quite a bit of savings there. Then on bonuses, I got back my $5 bonus for the pumpkin bonus and I got back my $5 bonus for the midweek bonus. So that was really awesome. It said that I completed 16 offers and I only needed, I think it was maybe 10 to complete those. So after I completed those, those other six or seven offers, whatever it was, it actually went towards my spice bonus. So even though I was scanning in the receipt for the pumpkin and the um, midweek, midweek bonus, those offers that, you know, were pretty much not needed for this bonus went towards the next bonus of the spice bonus. So I hope that makes sense. So already, you guys, if you're picking up some of these deals, you may be working towards that other bonus. So that was really awesome because it put me almost halfway through that bonus. So super excited about that as well. Now, on Checkout 51, I submitted my receipt over there as well. I got back a total of $5.30 on Checkout 51. On there, I believe I got some back for the yogurt and also some back for... Gosh, oh yeah, the tortilla chips. Sometimes I cannot remember. I'm like, what was it for? Oh, and the sparkle paper towels. I think that was all of it. So, got back $5.30. Then over on Shopkick, between, let's see, Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks, we'll talk about the Buy Kicks first, just because maybe you're not scanning it in the store, you may not have as many kicks, but just on Buy Kicks alone, we had 2,175 kicks. 
Now that is the equivalent of $8.70 because you take those kicks and you multiply it by 0 0.004 and then that's how you know it's $8.70. Now I had about 100 scan kicks um, and the 100 scan kicks was just for scanning each of those items in the store. Of course, with small ones like this, you want to scan the bigger one, but then you buy the smaller one. So you get the scan kicks for scanning the bigger one, but you can get the buy kicks for purchasing the small one. So 100 kicks uh, for scan kicks is like 40 cents. So I got that in addition to the $8.70. So I think that was all the rebate apps that we scanned it into. I did scan it over to Fetch Rewards, but I only got a few cents on Fetch. So you might have a Fetch offer that would give you more. Or if it's your first time scanning into Fetch, you can use my code. I'll pop it up on the screen and you will get $2 for your very first receipt. So that's a win-win there. But overall today, you guys, we got $91 worth of products for completely free and a seven cent money maker. Because after you subtract all those rebates from the 77.33 we paid in the store, it came out completely free. So I'm so excited about that. I mean, I got some lunch stuff for the kids' lunches, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna try this, like maybe put it in like a smoothie or something. And I'm excited to try this soup right here because this is the kind of soup that I get at Olive Garden. I don't know if it's gonna taste anything like that, but we'll see. Also excited for the kids to try these. So definitely definitely let me know <laughs> what you think about some of these items because some of these i've not tried before that is for my future dishwasher that i'll eventually get we're planning on trying to do our kitchen cabinets and then um installing a dishwasher now sometime in the near future it i've never really shown them because my cabinets are so ugly but they are super super old our house was built in probably the 70s and we've had the same cabinets forever like i've over time, I've painted them. They used to be black. Now they're white. Um, you know, tried to brighten up my kitchen a little bit, but they are just terrible cabinets. So I'm so excited to maybe finally get new cabinets um, sometime in the near future, like I said. And I'll have a dishwasher, so I'm getting some dishwasher products. <laughs> but um, anyways, also on the Teen Girl Vitamins, I went ahead and picked these up. Chloe is 12, so I'm assuming teen vitamins, you wouldn't start taking until you're 13 or whatever but these do have an expiration of 2023 so those will be coming in handy next year when she starts taking those if that's when you start taking them but anyway so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so so much for watching if you're not following me over on instagram yet definitely follow me over there as well i post little deals throughout the week and i'd love to have you guys there as well so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys